what would you guys like to take a look at today on video? A knife gun? Sure, we can do a knife gun. Um, there are a bunch of percussion ones. I think there's actually a needle fire. You want a modern one? Something made recently? Well, okay, we can probably come up with something along those lines. Um, who's it? Seriously, for a Russian oligarch? Well, you know, I think I have just the thing. Thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. As always, I'm Ian McCollum, and we're here today at the Rock Island Auction House looking at some of the knife guns that they are going to be selling in their upcoming December of 2017 firearms auction. And uh, you wanted one for a Russian oligarch, so how about the Grad CM1 Dragon Edition? Gold encrusted, ivory handled, and diamond studded. We're just going to have to go straight to looking at this thing up close. So this was made by a company called GRAD, G-R-A-D, that's Global Research and Development, uh, based in Las Vegas, and they started making these in the 1990s. And they made a, a wide variety of them, actually, more than you might expect. So they had a couple different styles of blade. Uh, they had one version that was just a knife, without a, a built-in gun at all. They had a version that was a bayonet, so it actually had a bayonet lug, or a loop up here, and a catch for attaching to an M16 pattern rifle back there. Uh, and then of course they made a gold-plated version, and then they made this one with ivory grips, gold decoration, and uh, apparently 102 separate diamonds as part of the, the design. And of course this cool acid-etched Damascus looking blade there. Have some basic markings on the back. This would be what you would see on any of them, with the exception of Dragon. Uh, Dragon happens to be the serial number for this particular one because of the engraving, or the decoration, on the side of it, which is this rather fancy orientalish sort of dragon covered in diamonds. We have the same sort of motif here on the other side. On the bottom here we have the model number, which is CM1, and uh, when this was made it was still patent pending. This is the trigger. What you do is rotate this piece 180 degrees, and then the trigger pops out. And to fire it, you simply squeeze this up and in. I'm not going to dry fire it because it is a rim fire uh, revolver inside. When I do press that, this is the striker. It's going to protrude out the back. Uh, when you snap it all the way in place, it releases the striker, snaps forward, fires a cartridge. That is the end of the barrel right there, so that's where the bullets come out. We can open this up by pressing in on this button and then gently opening that. And then inside we have this nifty little 22 caliber six shot revolver cylinder. Works pretty simply. You have our striker here. It is connected to a sear catch right there. And when I press the trigger in it's going to push this backwards, which will push the sear surface here backwards. That's going to index the cylinder one position. Uh, when it goes all the way back, this will snap down, like so. We'll release the striker, fire the cartridge there, and, uh, and then resets and you're ready to fire a second time. A couple of latches back here that just uh, hold the whole thing closed. Uh, by the way, once you have the trigger down, the only way to close it all the way is either to dry fire it, or to open the action, and then you can push the trigger in and lock it in place, and then close the action back up. So if you think about holding a knife like this, this thing's going to be kind of awkward to shoot, because presumably you want to point it in the same direction as your arm, so you're kind of, be, kind of going to be doing this. Probably put your thumb on top and fire it that way. It does have a pretty thick grip, and that would be because you have to uh, conceal an entire six-shot cylinder inside that grip. So there is a reason why these things don't often catch on as, as effective defensive tools. Not that one decorated like this is intended to be a tool of any sort. This is purely a decorative item, I would expect. Now, it's mechanically functional, but I would be rather surprised if anyone uh, who owns this actually fires it. It certainly appears to be completely unfired and brand new right now. Well, as cool as the whole knife, gun, revolver, combination, weapon thing sounds, 
it turns out it's really not much of a viable commercial prospect. Uh, these guys found that out in about 2007 when they went out of business, having made around, I think a little less than a thousand of all of these knife CM1 knife gun uh, combination weapons put together, all different styles. Almost certainly only one of them quite like this one. If you decide that you need to have it yourself, well, take a look at the description text below the video. You'll find a link there to Rock Island's catalog page where you can take a look at their pictures, their description, their price estimate, all that sort of stuff. And uh, you can place a bid on it from your personal seat on the Russian space station uh, without ever having to come down to Earth through their website. Thanks for watching.